How's it going, everyone? Okay, so uh, I'm going to do the biology review as a video as well, just so I can be consistent on my reviews. Um, so you should be still studying for 20 minutes each night to prepare. Um, here are the units that we studied uh, that you need to know. Let me use black. Um, I'm just going to get started. Here we go. All right, so I have no idea why some of my words are getting cut off, but just flow with it. All right, the main purpose of all of our body systems is to maintain balance. That's why we need to maintain homeostasis. This is a word that you definitely need to know. Um, levels of organization, that's just the order that it goes in. Uh, diffusion is a very, very popular um, process that is put on every final. You'll see it up until college, through college. Uh, molecules will diffuse across the uh, cell mem membrane in an animal cell. Animal was the key word there. If it said plant cell, um, it would have to go through the, uh, across the cell wall too. Uh, but plant cells, remember, have the cell membrane and the cell wall. This is just for an animal cell. Okay, um, for this, explain why the solution turned purple. The iodine molecules were small. So they, they did diffuse into the bag. The starch molecules were too big to diffuse into the bag. That's the reason. Too big over there. Um, also, this isn't in your packet, but write down somewhere that this was a chemical change. That's important. There's a nice picture of the, uh, the experiment. Um, glucose... These are, these are what the uh, nutrients are used for in the human body. So glucose is energy, protein, tissue growth and repair, fat is energy, insulation, and protection. And which nutrient provides the most energy? The answer is fats. Why not carbohydrates, you ask? Um, carbohydrates right here, it says longer lasting. That is true. But fats over here supply the most amount of energy because of the bonds between the fats they store the, the store, they store the most amount of energy they might not be longer lasting as the carbohydrates are but they are indeed the most amount the highest amount human body systems define mechanical digestion this you have to know physical breaking down those are the three key words um, and they occur in the mouth and the stomach. Very important. Two places that they take place. We said mouth, stomach. Uh, chemical digestion, chemically breaking down. Notice the difference between physical and chemical is the words chemical and physical. Wow. Um, Keyword, enzymes. Enzymes make things go faster. Without enzymes, our body processes would take extremely long amounts of time to the point where we'd be dead. So that's why enzymes are very important. They make things happen very quickly. Here's two examples. Two examples. Amylase is in your mouth and pepsin's in your stomach. Very important. You should just write those in. Um, two places that chemical digestion takes place is the mouth and stomach, and you can also add the small intestine. Just put that as a side note. Small intestines are the one that contains villi, and the function of the villi is to increase the absorption of nutrients or increase surface area. That's good, too. Okay, for a circulatory system, red blood cells carry oxygen, Liquid portions called plasma. Disease-fighting cells are called white blood cells. Platelets help your blood clot. Capillaries are the blood vessels that um, the diffusion of oxygen and carbon dioxide take place. They're the very small vessels. Um, arteries away starts with an A. Veins transport back. Uh, vein, the, word, the V kind of looks like a boomerang, so I think of it as like coming back. Okay, label the heart diagram. Remember, this is as if you're looking at the person. So the right over here is actually your left. This is an actual person. So if that's their heart, if you're looking at their heart, this would be the right side of them and this would be the left side of them. Um, which chambers contain the oxygen-rich blood? The oxygen-rich blood is the left side. And the oxygen-poor blood is the right side. Um, in which blood vessels does diffusion of oxygen and carbon dioxide? We already said capillaries. We got that on the last slide. 
Here's a nice diagram of the heart for you to look at. I would just know where these things are, be able to identify where the aorta is, where the vena cava is. And look, here we go again, oxygen rich blood on this side, oxygen poor blood on this side. Um, we need to go through cellular respiration um, in order to get ATP, which is energy. This is very important. Um, major organs, you could take a look at these on this slide. These might help you out in the future. What is the function of the alveoli? Gas exchange. Type of blood vessels? Um, capillaries surround the alveoli. Oxygen gets into the blood vessels by diffusion. Um, this is a little nice paragraph if you want to read that. Okay, the pathway of air. I don't know why trachea did that. Um, the A is at the end, obviously. So it goes nose. These squares, my arrows didn't come out for some reason using this program. There's still a lot of things I don't know about this program, so I'm figuring them out. Those should be arrows. Same with that one. Um, for this one, for the trachea one, a lot of people put lungs. That would be true, except it's too uh, broad. Um, these are more trachea. Is right here, if you look in the diagram. So you got nostrils. Then you, it says pharynx, which is over here. That's your throat. Larynx. And then it goes down to the trachea. And then some people just didn't put trachea and put the whole lung. I mean, that would be true, but we want to be more specific. And inside the lung is the bronchi, the, the bronchi and the bronchioles, and then the alveoli. And here's a blown up image. So you could see better. Five wastes given off. You should just know these five wastes. They're very important. Sweat cools off your body. Like when you have a fever, you sweat. It's trying to cool your body off. It's a reaction to sickness or overheating. Okay, urinary system diagram. This is the same diagram in your packet. So these are the four you need to know. Ignore these other lines that I put. Those are unimportant. Just those four you need to know. Okay, three types of neurons. Ignore this. These are errors in my PowerPoint. These are the three you need to know. Sensory, interneuron, and motor neuron. And the three parts of the brain are down here. Anytime you see the words chemical messengers, you automatically know that they're talking about hormones. Okay. Here's an error in my PowerPoint. This is not true. This is true. Bones are living. They have, uh, they're full of, um blood vessels and they're made of cells and cells are alive. Uh, bones make blood cells, that's true, and bones do not, do not is the keyword. Store minerals, that's false. They do store minerals. And all this is found in the notes in the beginning, so you'll be able to look at those. Um, I believe this is the last slide. Um, three types of joints error in my PowerPoint again. The three types of joints that you need to know are pivot, hinge, and ball and socket. Those are the three. Uh, muscles must work in pairs, that's true. Ligaments hold bone to bone, tendons hold muscle to bone. In the notes, Mr. Schiraldi gave you an acronym to remember these, I don't remember it off the top of my head, but read through the notes in the beginning of this packet if you um, need more elaboration on definitions or things like that, or ask me questions in class. That was just a quick overview of biology review. Um, that is also going to be given at extra help, so come on through. All right, have a good one.